Okay. Go here. Get ready. I'm ready. Megan's ready. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mondays with Mark. I'm Mark, and we're on your favorite YouTube channel, Smokey Steve and Mark. Right? Yes, yes. I think I gotta think of a new opening or something. I don't know. Eh, we'll stick with it for a while. How is everybody doing? I'm I'm gonna tell you, it is so great to see you. Um, as you may know, I'm alone. Steven's out of town for a few days, so I'm just left here all by myself, you know, and I don't like being alone. Well, I do have a hairy beast with me. And, and no, it's not Steven. He is out of town. Ha <laughs> ha, cha no, Nah, just kidding. Nah, Bandit's here with me, so I guess I'm not really alone. He does provide a, a lot of company. He's my baby. Maybe I can get him to come up in the video. We'll see. He's just staring at me right now, so I'm getting all self-conscious. But no, seriously, how is everybody? I hope you're doing really good. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, I I pretty much worked all weekend, and then Stephen left uh, yesterday morning, and he'll be back um, uh, Tuesday night. So it's really not that that long of a time. But we have a nice little episode for you this evening. It's what week? Uh, week three in the six weeks to Halloween that I'm doing, you know, the crafts, recipes, and uh, decorating ideas for Halloween. I believe this is week three. One, two, three. I think it is. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be outside a little later. Um, but first, oh yeah, first, let me say, I won a $5 gift card for Buffalo Wild Wings. And every once in a while, I do, you know, I like to kind of try to find ways to say thank you um, for all of you who watch us all the time and everything. So if anybody would like this $5 digital gift card for Buffalo Wild Wings, it's yours. All you have to do is be the fifth person who emails us at SmokeyStevenMark at Yahoo.com and it's yours. I know it's only $5, um, but... Um, you know, I think I'm going to go through my stash and see what other prizes I have, too, because I like to do this every once in a while. But yes, anyway, anybody wants that gift card, it's yours. Fifth person, email us, SmokeyStevenMark at Yahoo.com, and it's yours. Um, what else did I want to tell you? We have a lot of exciting things in the works. I just spoke with my boss over the weekend, Dom. I, If you've been following us for a while, you, you've met him a couple times before. And he wants to start his own YouTube channel, and I think it would be a fantastic idea. He's a fantastic chef. And um, he owns the restaurant that I work at, and I've been there for years, and we're really good friends. And we decided that his very, very first video ever, his kind of launch video or premiere video, whatever you want to call it, is going to be with us here at Smokey Steve and Mark. So um, within the next week or two, we're going to film a video at the restaurant and Dom's going to cook for us. And his whole concept is something like, you know, um, cooking made easy, like something like that, you know, and he's going to share recipes from his family. The restaurant's been there for well over 50 years. I think it's like 56 years now or something. Fantastic recipes, fantastic food. Dom's a character, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm super excited about that, and I'll be sure to keep you updated probably about a, a week, maybe two at the most, so, and I'm working on the spooky Halloween special. That's coming up, too. We're just about to set the date for that. That's pretty fun. You you know how much I, I kind of dig stuff like that. And Steve has no idea what he's getting into. Oh my gosh. Just wait. It's going to be fun. So anyway, I am in selfie. I have no idea how much time I have left in memory. So I'm going to try to move it right along now. So this is week three in our countdown to Halloween with decor ideas, DIYs, crafts, tips, hacks, recipes, all that kind of stuff. Now, all day today, I've been getting out all the Halloween stuff, and I'm trying to focus on the outside, you know, getting the garden ready for winter and decorating for Halloween. So tonight's little DIY project is an outdoor decoration that's completely recycled or upcycled, however you want to, however you want to call it. We're going to make um, like these flashing ghost luminaries, 
and I'm making them for my steps, um, but these would be great right outside your door, in your garden, you could put them in the windows, they could be inside too, it doesn't matter. So let's get right to it. I tried to streamline everything. I have everything sort of prepped and everything, so I'll try to demonstrate some stuff. You know how I get all nervous and how I can get long-winded though, so I'm gonna try to keep it interesting for those of you who just don't care about crafting. If there's anyone out there like that, I can't even imagine, but there might be. Uh, or if you don't like Halloween either, but I'm going to try to try to keep it interesting for you, okay? So, this, like I said, is, comp and I have my notes so I can refer to so we don't get off track. All right, so for this, for this project, you only need a few simple things. We are going to make ghosts out of two liter um, soda bottles, okay? So, you'll need a soda bottle and you will need some white fabric. I used an old white sheet that we had and I was able to make six of these ghosts from one white sheet. And that white fabric, your sheet, a tablecloth, whatever, you want to cut it into a 32 inch round circle. All right. And if you need any tips on how to do that, just, uh, uh, just, just measure a square and then kind of cut the corners out. It, like I said, it doesn't have to be um, perfect. Mine's all ragged and we're actually going to fray the edges around it. So it does not have to be perfect. Just has to be about 32 inches round, okay? So white fabric. In addition to that, you'll need some sort of twine. I'm using this, uh, I think it's called uh, one millimeter twine. But you can use jewet, you can use string, you can use floral wire, whatever, whatever you'd like to use for that. A permanent marker, and this is going to be to make the ghost's face. Um, some scissors, you'll need a box cutter, um, those bread twist ties, that'll be a handy little thing to have for this tip. And then you'll need some, some rocks, uh, rocks or sand or pebbles. We're going to use these to weigh down the ghosts, and this will all make sense in a little bit. All right, so step one, all you need to do is clean and dry your bottles out. Just rinse them out with water. These are going outside, so it's no big deal. And remove your label, and that's extremely simple on these. They just rip right off like that, and it doesn't matter. You'll have a little bit left on the back. doesn't matter because that's going to be the back of it, and it's all going to be covered up. The next step in this process, we're going to cut a hole in the back where the like the little bit of label is left. We're going to cut a hole with a box cutter, or you can use an X-Acto knife, um, or you can maybe cut a little slit and use scissors. Just be careful when doing this, and I kind of got it started. Yeah, there we go. And again, it doesn't have to be neat, just enough so you can... Uh, have space to get in there like that, okay? See how ragged it is? It doesn't matter, it's all gonna be covered up, all right? Oh, let me refer to my notes. I don't wanna get, get off track here. All right, next step, we're gonna fill the bottom with our rocks or your sand. Um, I can't think of what else you could use, pebbles, anything that will weigh it down in case you get um, like, I don't know, like a windstorm or bad weather. You just want to make sure they're stationary because mine are going to go outside on my steps and that's kind of windy there. So anyway, uh, this will weigh it down and it'll also make it a lot easier to do the next parts on this too. All right, so we're all weighed down like that. Okay, right, now next thing, you're going to take your fabric and if you uh, used a marker to mark your circle, just make sure that part is down and we're going to cover the bottle like this all right let's see so we're gonna cover it so it's like that and you know it I'm trying to show you this like this but you know set it on a flat surface it'll be easier to make sure it's centered okay so just make sure it's centered which it is now the next part you're gonna get yourself a bread twist tie or maybe a piece of uh, floral wire or any type of wire and we're gonna pinch the top I think you can see it Pinch the top about an inch, and that's above the opening of the top of the bottle. So you have this, okay? Just so you have that. And it doesn't have to be neat, nothing at all, just about an inch of fabric on top because we're going to take it off. Next, get yourself some twine. And I'm using this, uh, I love this kind of rustic twine. And, uh, but you can use, again, you could use floral wire. You can use anything for this part you'd like. And I doubled mine up like this. 
and we're going to tie a knot and I'll do it real quick and then I'll show you. We're going to tie below where you tied the twist tie on the bottom of the lip of the soda bottle. We're going to tie it tight, as tight as you can because this is the only thing that's going to hold the fabric on to make the ghost like that. So now I think it makes sense. So you're down here and it's on, under the lip so it doesn't it doesn't lift off like that. Next remove your first one. Take that off and now we have a little poof like that. And as you can see where we're going with this is the, bod the body of the ghost there. Now at this point I frayed the edges of my fabric and by that means I just went like this all the way around the bottom of it. So we have a rustic, like, uh, frayed, kind of almost spooky, ragged, ripped up look at the bottom of it. All the way around like that, okay? So, where are we at on here? We did that, we did that, we did that. Remove that. Yeah, now we're on to the face. So, make sure the back, where the hole is, is to the back. And you're going to draw a face. And the easiest way I found to do this was to smooth down the fabric and get a permanent marker and draw your ghost face anywhere you'd like on it. I kept mine a little close to the top. And um, a little note, if you're gonna use markers, make sure it's permanent, like, um, like a paint marker or a Sharpie marker, just in case it rains or it gets wet, you don't wanna have it, um, you know, running down or, you know, fading off or anything like that. And you can do all different types of faces. I'm just doing the classic little ghost face. And I'm trying to do it really, really fast here. I don't want to run out of time. Like that. Okay. So we have our ghost face. I hope you can see that. We have our little ghost face there. Okay. Next, you're going to want to get yourself a uh, battery-operated tea light like this. Or maybe a battery operated string light or a votive candle that's battery operated and a little tip on that get the timer ones the ones that have six hours on and what is it 18 hours off six on something like that so you don't have to constantly be changing them all the time these are really really great they had these at the dollar store with the timer on it for a buck and uh, I went back to get more they were out couldn't find them anywhere but I had enough and we're gonna lift up the skirt Gonna peek boo, boo, and we're gonna place it inside our ghost just like that, and he will glow, glow like that. Okay, so that's you know pretty much it for the construction of it, like this. And we're gonna go and set this outside. So I'm gonna grab you, take you outside, and show you. I made a whole bunch of them to go up my steps. So why don't we go outside and look? I think you're going to like it. It's so cute looking. All right. All right. Let me grab you here. Woohoo. Okay. Here we go. Got my shoes all handy and ready to go. And I don't want to turn this off. Let me hold it like that. Okay. Can you tell I'm excited to show you this? I think this is so easy and so adorable. Oh, it's dark. You can't see anything. Okay. Here we go. Done. Dun, 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 dun. And there they are. I'm, ho I'm hoping I, I'm hoping you can see this because I'm in selfie, and I can't see it. There they are, going up and down the steps. And uh, these particular tea lights, ha they change colors. So there's a blue one, a green one, a red one, and they all change on and off. So I really hope you, I hope you can see that. I don't know. So anyway, now that I can see it, there they are. <laughs> they're kind of cute, huh? Anyway, they're going all up my steps, all the way down to the ground. They change colors. They're really easy to make, recyclable. I don't know. I think they're cool. Oh, oh, oh. And look who's here. I hope you can see him. Oscar's here. No, it's too dark. Anyway, well, Oscar's here and he wanted to say hello. Let's go down and say hello to everybody. So anyway, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this little uh, 
project that I did. Um, I think I get a little too excited over stuff like this sometimes, but I'm trying to get them in the background, but you can't really see them from here. But hopefully you got to see them. As always, I'll post it on Facebook with the directions so you can make them yourself. Um, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Uh, it was great spending time with you tonight. Um, like I said, I'm all alone and just, um, I don't know, just doing this, it feels like someone's here with me. So thank you very much. Definitely check us out on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark. Send us a friend request. Um, I post a lot of things on Facebook, including this craft project. I'll put that up tomorrow. Check us out on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark. And once again, thank you so much for watching. And you all have a great night. And stay positive, everybody. Okie dokie. Get the ghost in. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Bye.